These two identical arrays each have 12 pallet loads of cartoned polystyrene plastic cups, separated by cardboard dividers. The nature of any cartoned commodity is that the fire develops very quickly on the vertical surfaces. As the fire grows, the heat release rate is increasing at an exponential rate. That will continue until all available fuel finds available oxygen to support the combustion process. When the light grey smoke from burning cardboard turns a darker black, that means the plastic cups with 2.5 times the heat content of the cardboard are contributing to the fire. The two fires represent the tail of two properties. In one case, the property owner has invested in properly designed sprinkler protection and has implemented the necessary inspection, testing and maintenance practices to assure the sprinklers operate when needed. In the other case, the property owner is still considering making the discretionary investment since sprinklers are not mandatory building requirements. The presence of a fire detection system, non-combustible building and local fire brigade have given them a sense of security. As the sprinkler over one array or property begins to gain control over the fire, there is minimal fire, water and smoke damage and operations will be largely unaffected this fire will not even make the nightly news. At the other property, a disaster is unfolding. Ceiling temperatures are now exceeding 540 degrees Celsius and the overhead steel begins to lose its strength. Steel can withstand these temperatures for no more than 10 minutes and the higher the temperature gets, the shorter the 10 minutes gets. Meanwhile, the fire brigade is still 10 minutes away. By the time they arrive, the building will be full of smoke, the location of the fire will be uncertain and the structure will be collapsing. They will have no choice but to let the building burn and set up a defensive firefighting strategy in an attempt to prevent fire from spreading to other buildings. This fire will make the evening news. Operations will not be normal for many months and the business consequences will extend beyond damaged property and interruption of business. Analysts will be asking about the shortfall in earnings and the impact on market share. Relationships with clients and suppliers will be affected. Reputation and image issues will consume executive time. The contrast of the two fires is striking in a matter of minutes. The sprinklered fire is no longer visible and the unsprinklered fire is fully involved and would continue spreading on adjacent combustibles. Ceiling temperatures exceed 38 degrees Celsius for less than 30 seconds over the storage with the sprinkler. In the unsprinklered array, ceiling temperatures are now over 900 degrees Celsius. It is a disaster. During the course of the video, the one operating sprinkler used 1,000 to 10,000 times less water, a fraction which would need to be used by the fire brigade in their defensive firefighting strategy. This makes it a sustainable device too. Being vulnerable is a choice. By investing in properly designed sprinkler protection and taking good care of the investment so it would work when needed, the property owner chose to be resilient. The fast reaction by the sprinkler system has turned what could have been a major event into a minor distraction.